burning, scorching my reality, ashes. Fire, destroyer of life. Fire, creator of life. Rising up gracefully, reaching out its arms, offering warmth, love, healing, hope. New beginnings, transformation rooted in what was and what rises again and will always be. And the second poem I'm going to read is I Am Earth. I am Earth, the ground you stand on. Come to me with your weariness. I will hold you. Feel my ancient roots beneath your feet. I am Earth. Come, be part of me. As the chaos of the world swirls around us, I offer you steady ground today. I am earth. In anger and anguish, I tremble, creating fissures in the rocks and my heart. I am earth. I am the ground upon which the ashes of fiery despair settle, ashes of loss, lay down upon me. I am earth. I receive the rain like tears, allowing moisture to soak in and soften me. I am earth. Come, be with me. Plant your feet. Feel me and know me. I will hold you in your pain and your tears will join the rains that softened me. The trembling sorrow of your body will awaken the heartbeat of the ancients. I am earth. Come lay down, absorb my soil, feel your heartbeat with mine as I embrace you. I am earth. I receive the ashes of despair and the rain of tears, and I manifest new life and hope through them. I offer you comfort, steadfast love. I am earth. Come, come be with me. I will hold you. You will find rest. Wow, thank you, Mary. Thank you. I'm Jeannie. I realize when I read these, I can't see the screen. <laughs> oh, well. So I'm gonna start with, um, well, I'm gonna start with the wind since we just had the earth. <clears throat> Wind, she tears through town, some days overturning, rearranging, discombobulating and uplifting as she cuts loose in one of her moods. I can't tell if she's been ignited by fury or mischief. Other days, she's caressing warmth across my face teasing up the curls in my hair, dancing leaves tenderly off branches, twirling and tumbling them off on their journeys. And some nights she blusters around, scraping branches across metal rooftops, incessantly creaking the hinges and flapping the screen door. I ask her to calm down, and next thing I know, she's disappeared nowhere in sight and the stillness she leaves behind 
on a sultry, steamy day can be unbearable. I beg her back, wishing I knew her language well enough to dance hawks up into the thermals and sing her ephemeral songs. But I practice breath by breath knowing someday I too will be lifted to the heavens. Hmm. So the next one I'm gonna read is Birthday Suit. A parchment map of this lifetime softens across my skeleton. Occasionally elevated by muscles, gravity tugging at the hinterlands of adipose extravaganzas. Tortoise neck arms extend their scales to well-worn riverbeds of my hands. Their soft bark touches my face with the sensitivity of years of deep listening. Furrows of worry plow across my brows, smooth planes of ease roll down into crow's feet trenches of laughter, of sun worship, of wonder. Every line, every wrinkle, every age spot, moments, graph over time. So beautiful. Thank you, Mary and Jeannie. So beautiful. Wow, you guys, powerful reading. I love it. Incredible musical, rhythmic embodiment. So exciting. Okay, Karen, ready? Not just about. Yeah, thank you, Jeannie. Uh, the first poem I'm gonna read is called Mother Waters. I sit curled in your lap, lap, lap. My tush floating, my arms dangling my toes waving through you. I roll and glide and swirl with you. I expand and transform to the rhythms of a deep old steady heart and the excited patter of my own novice instrument. My eyes know soft shades of dark nourishment and I drink from you, my fountain, sea, and my home. And you slip and slide into my lungs, pulmonic harmonics. And I hear through you the sonar transmissions of my future. And I sleep in your liquid cradle. So the second poem is fire. Electrons jumping valences emit photons of light. I was 12 when I heard these words from my eighth grade science teacher. Jolts of recognition, I lit up. First fire, soul catching magic. Today, I fear fire, inhaling fire's excrement, uncertain what or whose bloody ashes dust my insides and visibly coat all I see. Light of the sunfire nourishes 
and scalds, healing and destroying. Fire may damn or bless, or fire may simply be fire. And I am charged with the soul's task of holding all the candles, conflagrations, campfire marshmallows, and concentration camp oven fires with cool equanimity. Yes. Thank you, Karen. Beautifully read and delivered and embodied. Thank you. Thank you. Lindsay, you ready to roll? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Lindsay. Um, the first poem I'm going to read is uh, Breathe In, Breathe Out. I breathe in the fear of the unknown. I breathe out peace and safety in the here and now. I breathe in burning chemicals and ash. I breathe out clear blue skies littered with fluffy white clouds and singing birds. I breathe in the, in the anger of the government trying to take my freedom, tell me how to care for my children. I breathe out two beautiful, vibrant rays of golden light healing the world. I breathe in various pains in my body. I breathe out a, a silk flowing gracefully in the breeze. I breathe in self-doubt. I breathe out a Viking warrior who leads with her heart. I breathe in a tomboy uncomfortable in her skin. I breathe out a feminine goddess. I breathe in the sadness of losing my dad. I breathe out the nest of my family that holds me. I breathe in the confusion of why he had to leave. I breathe out his voice reading me the prophet. I breathe in my anger at God for taking him. I breathe out his gentle love lifting me. I bring in my longing to be wrapped in his arms one last time. I breathe out my mom holding me. I breathe in the exhaustion of my spiritual growth. I breathe out a moon rising, giving light to those lost in darkness. I breathe in the worry for my girls in this unstable world. I breathe out crystals, grounding them to earth. I breathe in hatred and anger. I breathe out a flowing river of love and compassion. Okay, my second poem is Look Inside. You suddenly froze like a tree caught in a cold snap. Pain radiating through the nerves and veins as if a child thoughtlessly pulled a fresh blossomed flower who just met the sun. Vines of ivy wrapped tightly around my heart, squeezing the fear out. My head will not turn. The pain burning like a raging fire, but not even glacial waters will put it out. Months of sleepless nights, laying in bed, listening to the confused birds singing at night. Looking under pebbles and leaves to find my lesson, my why. I journey to an oak tree where I fly down, 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 following the twists of the roots until I meet owl. Owl, white, black, obsidian eyes of wisdom and age greets me and offers to be my guide. <laughs> A guide to be free, 
to shed what I thought was me and fly through the black night sky over the rumbling sea, scattering the ashes of the old me. Neck, you will not let me turn to witness the beauty around me until I can witness my own. Well done, Viking warrioress. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. God, this is so exciting. Can we do this every night? Wow. You guys are powerful. Okay, Lisa, you ready? I am as ready as I will ever be. <laughs> okay, first one I'm reading is The Goddess of Destruction. Can you hear me okay? Okay, good, because I've heard recently that you couldn't, so I was going to yell at you. <laughs> okay, goddess of destruction. I only know one way to be with fire. I become her. Just like the fire herself, I don't mess around. I become the goddess of destruction to be the change I wish to see. I let her move through me, burning away all that no longer serves me. She ignites me. She transforms me. She heals me. The fire loves me like only a powerful mama can, with fierce love and compassion. She doesn't let me off easy. She holds me to a, a higher version of myself, coaxing me to rise to the occasion of her primal flames. She is pure raging fire, devouring all of the lower vibration, old paradigm me, all that I know no longer serves me. She burns me and destroys me until there is nothing left but the light that I am. And once again, I rise like the phoenix from the ashes again and again, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> now I'm going to read, Ride My Wave. There's no need to fear me. I'm deep, but it's one of the things you love about me. I wanna hold you and love you. Let you ride my waves, laughing and splashing like a child. Yes, I'm powerful and fierce, just like you. But I don't always play rough. You just have to be open and willing and catch me at the right time. Thank you. <laughs> so beautiful, Lisa. Thank that you. was so gorgeous. Thank you. Power, power, <laughs> God. Nicole, ready? Okay. Hi, can you hear me now? Nicole hands. Earthen hands I harvested in utero fertilized by Lexine and Robert. His hands never touched me, yet I feel their bare strength. Hers arthritic and slender. I feel the smooth ivory piano keys she played, the coiled metal strings they strummed together. Vibrations through wooden guitars Two tortured souls divine my healing hands. Earth messengers and mediators mending. Translators between English and primordial goo. Guide shining light through the darkness of shame and entombed pain. Magic makers of love in multiple mediums sensitive fingertips and spread wide open palms, savor skin, read the bone braille of spines and share kundalini wisdom from its marrow. Slice vulnerable vegetables to eat and to feed others. My hands till the soils of bodies grateful and trustworthy, forever a curious child 
and consenting adults, exploring new and ancient terrain, integrating collective energies with each touch. My hands earth me to you and earth you to me. This one is Jack London Estuary. I am a vast, steady, floating, slow motion magic carpet. My glassy skin reflects the sky to you in thousands of angles and speeds of light beams. I sail you through channels inside open earth carvings. I shapeshift, responding to each minute movement you make, riding me into the blue striped incandescent sunset. I am an aquarium window to many schools of fish. Seals peek and pop through me to say hello. I am the porous skin between you, your paddleboard, and the immense body of bay ocean below. When you dip your hand through and fall into me, I ripple and remind you that you are fluid inside, wet like me. As my abrupt invigorating coldness shakes you awake, splash! Gorgeous. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you all. Thank so you. lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Tiffany, where are you? I'm here. There you are. Hi. I have to bring up the poems. Okay. Okay. The first poem I'm going to read is called Water. It cleanses my skin, my eyes, my perception. My skin is thirsty, my throat parched. I look for refreshment, cooling, cooling the inner fire, raging cooling me inside. Water hovering in air from dousing plants makes birds happy, singing. Sheets of water, little droplets trace lines down car windows, shower door, wending paths of least resistance. Water sounds tinkle, tickle in my ear, burbling, maturing to the surface. Wait for her, let her soak, allow saturation, fill up. This is, I love Pachamama. Earth Mama, your thoughts are dreams made real. Satellites tangled in your radiance. Other machines suck your blood. Earth in your patience, ever giving beauty cycling again and again, hoping we'll get a clue, one of these go rounds. We hear you. I put my cheek to your chest and wet you with my tears. I ride your waves and sing your praise. I fight for you. I trust your ways, 
I grow and learn for all my days and feed you with my song. Thank you for that song. Beautiful. I love how you embodied that. Okay, Indigo, ready? Okay, got to unmute. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So the first one is Earth, O oh Earth. Earth, O oh Earth, we have had such an intimate relationship for so long, it seems. My bare hands and feet have been deep within your delicious soil and streams so many times. You know how good it feels when you release that serotonin every time and massage around and plant a seed in you. I'm in awe how you harness the sun's energy and alchemize it with water to create the perfect environment for so many forms of life to thrive, to birth and nourish everything alive. Herbs and flowers, fruits and mushrooms, what a show to delight our senses, nourish our body and mind, heart and soul. My reverence for you will never get old. It will only grow and grow and grow. Thank you. And I have them on my phone. Just give me a sec. Okay. The second one is elemental meeting. I'm sitting in a place where earth, air, fire, and water are meeting at this very moment. Mono Lake Basin. From the blackened, fire charred, regenerating forest on the hillside to golden fields of amazing earth offerings. To waters so magical and full of nutrients, feeding ground to millions of birds, wings spread wide. Soaring on the wind, blowing through this valley, shaping earth and creating patterns on the water, a place so full of mystery that when earth and water meet here, they form white limestone spires, never seen before and repeated nowhere else on earth a glorious creation for our eyes to behold and another chapter in Earth's story unfolding. Beautiful. Thank you, that was gorgeous. Wow, everybody, thank you so much. I love hearing your voices. I love how you've made these poems part of you. To hear you speak them now, you live them. They are alive in you. This is so beautiful. All of these elements have now become part of you. You are part of them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you everybody for sharing tonight. Um, so beautiful, such a gift. Thank you so much for guiding us on this little journey into our relationship more deeply with the elements. It's mm -hmm. been really inspiring and um, the depth that you've held for us to emerge the deeper places in ourselves from is profound. And I just want to offer gratitude to you, dear Meredith, 
for that. Thank you. Her. Thank you. What an honor. Mm -hmm. What an honor to be on the journey with each of you. What, what, least You are such a medicine woman. You, oh. are, you are such mm -hmm. a healer. You are such a light. You are such a love. You hold such powerful space. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing Thank your gift with us. Thank you. My honor. I'm so amazed how you can re hear the poem one time somebody reads it. And it's <laughs> totally a part of you. And like, you did, like, I, I just, it's amazing. And the feedback. Yeah. Well, I, as I said, every time I loved every moment okay. of us together, every moment. And um, I'm going to start our Wednesday workshops back up, I think this week. I'll send you an email. It's going to be a drop in. Anybody, women, men, adults, anybody can join. And then I will do series like once or twice each, each season. Otherwise, it'll be a Wednesday. I think it's going to be 5 to 6.30 or 4.45 to... 6 15 or something like that what's better for people earlier earlier yeah how about everybody else 